from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Lauren St. Germain. Meteorologist Shay Ryan has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, your top stories at this hour. A man who pled guilty to killing a pregnant 17-year-old girl has been sentenced to 40 years in prison. Morgan Martin's family and friends were in the courtroom. In an effort to get a shorter sentence, authorities say Jacoby Flowers told them Morgan's remains are near Troy, Alabama. But after extensive searching, her remains have yet to be found. Florida's move to strip Disney of its self-governing status might not be legal. Since the 60s, the company has operated under the Reedy Creek Improvement District. District officials say the state cannot dissolve Reedy Creek unless the district's bond debt is paid off. Right now, it has about a billion dollars in outstanding debt. This is the first response from the Disney-run district since lawmakers passed legislation to dissolve it. And Zoo Tampa is taking precautions now that the deadly bird flu has made its way to Florida. The avian flu is spreading across the country. Zoo Tampa tells us they have yet to see any cases and they are determined to keep it that way. To protect the birds. The zoo is closing some of the areas where the birds are for a while and relocating them. The zoo also says if you see a sick or dead bird, do not touch it. Instead, call state wildlife officials or report it online. Now here's meteorologist Shay Ryan with Florida's most accurate forecast. Shay. We are looking at uh, dry conditions overnight and to start the day on Friday, uh, but by as early as noon, we'll start to see the rain chances picking up and we'll start to see the coverage really increasing around three, four o'clock only to watch it taper off as we get closer to sunset and beyond. And so overnight, most of the area is going to be dry. We do have one batch of persistent rain that keeps showing up here on the future cast right around Highlands County, but the rest of the area is looking like it will start off the day on Saturday on a dry note and we'll then see the same pattern through this uh, the afternoon and evening on Saturday as well as on Sunday. The coverage is going to vary a little bit from day to day, but overall the high temps will remain in the upper 80s. The lows remaining pretty consistent near 70 degrees in Tampa and in the 60s elsewhere. By the first of next week, the rain chances come down. The temps go up as well as the humidity. The temps in the morning are going to start to come up a few degrees and along with it, we're definitely going to notice the mugginess in the morning and the steaminess through the afternoons.